with a little share with, for you today. This is my take on a Fabergé inspired egg. Um, I around Easter time started learning a lot about Fabergé eggs. I watched a couple tut wonderful tutorials on how to make some out of the paper mache eggs, and I was very excited to try it. Well, I bought several eggs at Hobby Lobby around Easter, and I began to try to make the eggs. And I was just not satisfied with how that was going. But a friend of mine was in a swap recently for a Fabergé inspired egg and asked me if I would swap. And I thought, oh no, because my egg experience has not been pleasant. But I love this person and this person is a dear, dear, sweet friend of mine. So I thought, okay, we're going to try this one more time. And it really wasn't one more time. This is the second egg. And the first egg I've worked over so many times that it now looks like a warty dinosaur egg. And you think I'm kidding, but it's the truth. It has gone from a pretty egg to a disco egg to about to hatch a dinosaur. Yeah. So to say that the egg has been, <laughs> that making this egg has been a struggle would be an understatement. So anybody else in the future who will be doing a Fabergé inspire, um, inspired um, egg swap, it is a beautiful idea. I will not, however, be participating in this, my friends. This is why. This is why I won't be participating. Why you don't want me to. Seriously. That is, <laughs> anyway. This is what we ended up with. And if you can see closely, it's got the amazing crackle that I'm just obsessed with lately. It's got, um, and I rubbed some gold into the crackle to really bring it out. I painted it with a metallic lavender. And then I added these metal butterflies to each end and then hook the chains on. And these are, they're, I don't know what, I don't know what, material that is but they're hard and they're pretty and they were gifted to me by somebody I don't, I don't recall who though and I bought this really cute candlestick at Hobby Lobby so you can see it it's like distressed and then I added the bling around and then some dangle trims which I don't remember where did I get these dangle trims I think these came from um, Gone Artsy I'm pretty sure and then I put some more bling and tied some seam binding around and then I added these strips right here to make it look blingy and it does open it's got a hinge and it opens and it stays open and doesn't fall over so that's beautiful but I'm gonna save the inside for a surprise for my friend so I just wanted to come in and give you a quick share and and thank goodness we got here from here Thanks for watching.